Okay, today we are going to make some Ankylosaurus armor for ourselves. So you guys are gonna need some scissors, some markers or crayons, some paper and some tape. And I'll let you guys get that and we can get started. Okay, first thing I'm gonna want you to do is take your paper and color it the way you think a dinosaur's skin would look. So his armor. I chose to do some yellow and red and brown and did some cool patterns on there. Maddox is helping make some more with me. It doesn't have to be drawn in any certain way. You could do like a whole red sheet of paper if you want, a whole brown sheet of paper. So whatever you think your dinosaur's armor is gonna look like. So after you get your paper drawn on, I want you to take your paper you can do it with one piece of paper at a time or several, depends how fancy you're filling. Okay, then you're gonna take this paper, which is probably something like a rectangle, mine is something like a rectangle, and you're gonna turn it on its side, and you're gonna go from point, right there, that point, can you guys see the point of the paper, to the other side of the paper, to the other point. So I am actually going to take this rectangle paper and turn it into, oh, wait for it, wait for it. I'm going to turn it into, who can guess, into two triangles. Here, I'm going to zoom out for you guys. There we go, two triangles. Okay, cool, keep drawing that, that's great. So then you're going to take your paper and you're going to lay it out on your table. And this is where it's going to get fancy. So you take your paper on your table and you're gonna layer your triangles. Here, let me show you from a different angle. So I put them on their sides. I did a straight, this is the sticky side of the tape. Stuck them to the tape, boom, boom. So now you guys can kind of decide how you wanna do this. I'm gonna put another one here. So the layering is what's gonna be cool about this, and that's what makes it armor. Cause something can't get into it if it's all blocked up. So see, that's all blocked up. Then I'm gonna take another piece of tape, right? Right, and I'm gonna put it there. If I could get it to stop sticking to Miss Sarah. And then you're gonna put another layer. I'm better than all one. Right, there's your next layer. And then once you get about three layers, so you could do all these papers like in a separate line, that way you could have them all separate. Then once you get several layers, I want you to take them and line them up cool, right? Let's pretend I have probably like four of these layers. And then you're gonna tape it from the top, attach all your tapes from the top to the bottom on both sides. You're gonna have them on both sides all the way across. And then you'll be able to tape it to your students' shoulders and they can become an Ankylosaurus. Armor! Yes, and they'll be so safe under their awesome armor. I can't wait to see. And then have them wear it and be dinosaurs around the house. I can't wait to see. Have fun, guys. If you guys are feeling fancy, you can also seal off the tape. So like this on my sticky tape right there. But I don't have a plate. Ah, see, a plate to go there. So I'm just gonna like cover it. There we go. That way it's not sticky on both sides. Oh, it's coming along. Look at all these layers we have. It's gonna be so hard for a predator to bite through our armor or for bugs to get in our armor. We have so many layers. We have so many plates. Look at that. Turn around for me. Let me see your dinosaur. Oh, look at that, Ankylosaurus. Can I hear a dinosaur growl? So I just put a little tape on the shoulders and made them like shoulder straps for it. But it should be pretty sturdy. It should have very, it should be a strong shield, guys. Oh, wow. Look at these details. These are going to be fancy dinosaurs. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry me today is so late to get today, guys. My bad. I'm so sorry. But our colors today are green and purple. I'm so sorry, guys. Miss Sarah's so sorry. Okay, so I'm going to do different colors on the insides of my circles this time. So this time I'm going to do my green head with purple features. These are features. 
And this one's gonna be, ooh, this one's gonna have snake eyes. Ooh, ooh, oh, I'm gonna make my face today like a snake face. Ooh, some days you feel snaky, right? Ooh, I'm feeling snaky today. Ooh, and then on this face, this face. Oh, I think I'm going to try to draw because remember they said they were sad and low. So I think I'm going to try to draw like my saddest face. Oh, oh, so sad. Oh, I'm getting sad just drawing it, guys. Oh, you guys have some tears. Oh my goodness. So many tears. Oh, his hair's all messed up. Oh, sad. Oh, the Thinks You Can Think by Dr. Seuss. <gasps> you can think about red. You can think about pink. You can think of a horse. Oh, the Thinks You Can Think. Oh, the Thinks You Can Think Up If Only You Try. If You Try, You Can Think Up A Guff Go By. Ooh, I wonder if I could think that. And you don't have to stop. You can think about a schlop. Schlop, schlop, beautiful schlop. Beautiful schlop with a cherry on top. Mmm, I'll eat it. No, I'll eat it. You're going to eat it? You can think about night. You can think about night in an and up. And the birds are asleep and the moons are all up. One, two, they have three moons. You can think up a day, a day in a day dake, and the water is blue and the birds are awake. Think, think and wonder and wonder and think how much water can 55 elephants drink? No, no, no. You can wonder how long a tell of a zong. Think of light, think of bright, think of stairs at night. Think, think of a ship, think of a long trip. Go visit a zipper, a vipper, a vip. <laughs> think left, think right, think low and think high. Oh, the things you can think if only you try. And I think I'm gonna go get those babies. It's outside time. So I hope you guys saved your bones. Here are my bones. They're still a little wet. So we're gonna take our bones and like fossils do, they're gonna get laid out in the ground. So you guys could do this anywhere you want. You guys can use like rocks to cover it or grass to cover it. We are gonna use actual dirt. We have this nice little hole here. We're gonna get a shovel. Okay, so your student can help you dig the hole. If that's how you guys decide to do it or however you guys decide to do it, our dirt's all wet. And it's still kind of hard even though it's wet. So I'm gonna break up these little mud clots and I'm gonna cover up our bones as best I can. Okay, let's see. So we're gonna bury up those bones. Oh, we're gonna pretend we're at an excavation site. Come here, Maddox. We're digging up dino bones here. And as you dig up your bones, using whatever materials you wanna use to dig them up, maybe a spoon or something, when you start to see some bone, do we see a little bit of bone there, Maddox? When we see a little bone, we're gonna go and we're gonna take our brush, our paintbrush, and we're gonna look for that bone with our paintbrush because we don't wanna break the bone. Here, do you wanna look for it? Here, you, you do it, Maddox. And we're gonna wipe away the debris and the dirt from our fossil. Yeah. <gasps> Is that our bone right there? Keep digging away at it, Maddox. Oh my goodness. And then you'll find your bones. Oh, can you, can you get it a little bit more dirt off of that, Maddox? Yeah. And like real paleontologists and archaeologists, 
clean off your bones nice and collect them. Oh, and we're gonna try to find all of our bones. Where else could the bones be, Maddox? I see one. You see one? Me see another one. You see another one? Can you dig them out, Maddox? Yes, I can. Yeah. Maybe a shovel. You need the shovel to do it? Oh, I see the edge of a bone. <gasps> Maddox, use your paintbrush. Oh, so delicate. We found another bone. Is there something there? Mm, we need a bottle. We need, we need that, that bottle there. Maybe it's a fossil there? We need, <gasps> we need this. We a, found another one. We need this. We need to saw something poking out. Wait a minute. You just saw something poking out? I think it's another fossil too. It is. Let's get right in that bone. Let's get that bone cleaned out right there in the middle. Clean that out so we can really see the features on that bone. Wow. I think we should bury him again. Let's bury him again. Wow, this fossil is in the shape of a dinosaur. Oh man, let's see what happens. Oh no, all this time is making it go under all this dirt. Oh, our job as archaeologists and paleontologists is going to be hard to find these. Okay, Maddox, let's see if we can find it. I'm going to dig in this dirt here. Yeah, get in that dirt. Let's see if we can find it. See if we can find all the dinosaur bones and put them together. Found more, you think? There's a fossil there. <gasps> Be careful.